There is no denying the fact that Kong is the current king of Skull Island. He has taken down a number of Skull Island's most powerful creatures including the Skull Crawlers, the Mire Squid, the Bamboo Spider, and many more. Thus far, aside from the big one, there has been no monster that has even come close to taking that throne. But to really find out who the true king of the monsters is, you have to look at the roles of Kong and Godzilla from all angles. So about 9 days ago, we took Kong out of the equation of Skull Island, and we replaced him with Godzilla. We then went down the list of the Bamboo Spider, the Mire Squid, the Juvenile Skull Crawler, and the Big One, and we essentially found out that if Godzilla were raised on Skull Island, he without a doubt would be the king. There is not one single creature on that island besides Kong that comes close. But now in 2019, if we are going to reverse the roles here, how would Kong, the king of Skull Island, fare in Godzilla, king of the monsters? Over the course of his entire life, Kong has been able to win battles by grabbing a hold of the enemy and ripping them to shreds. Like I said before, on Skull Island in specific, he is simply on a different level. Sure, the Skull Crawlers and the Mire Squid are both very large, but the level level of intelligence and power they have is not enough for Kong. Ever since King Kong vs Godzilla was announced in 2020, I have always said that if Kong wants to win this battle, he has to close the distance and grab a hold of Godzilla. From that position, he can do damage, and maybe eventually rip his jaws, killing him off. Now with that being said, there is still one very significant issue about Kong being in King of the Monsters. Going back to what I said, if he wants success against Godzilla, he would have to find a way to grab a hold of him. That in itself is a pretty big task considering the fact that Godzilla has the atomic breath, and that power alone without question could put Kong away. So if you guys think that possibility is slim, just imagine Kong trying to kill off King Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra. They all have the ability to fly, and on top of that, they all have many different abilities that can inflict damage on the grounded opponent. So during these battles, if Kong cannot get a hold of any of them, he will essentially get picked apart until he dies off. Getting hit by the gust of wind by Mothra's wings, the hurricanes made by Rodan, and then the gravity beam of King Ghidorah, the chance of Kong surviving and actually cementing himself as the real king of the monsters would be slim. And for Kong's way of fighting, I believe King Ghidorah is far more dangerous than Godzilla. That's only when you apply it to Kong's style though, aside from that, Godzilla as of right now is the true king of the monsters. But what do you guys think, how would Kong fare in Godzilla King of the Monsters? Will he survive and can he actually kill off King Ghidorah, Rodan, or Mothra? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.